One of the things that makes computers uh, so important to things like science and research is the quickness at which we, they can do mathematical um, problems. And so they can take very complicated problems and solve many, many individual steps of them very quickly um, by doing very simple mathematical expressions and then combining the results of those. So we want to see how can you make C++ do simple math for you. So um, there's expressions and operators in C++. So for operators, you have a plus sign for addition, a hyphen for subtraction, an asterisk, um, note that's not an X, but an asterisk for multiplication, a forward slash for division, and a percent sign, which doesn't actually mean percent, it means modulus, which is a special operation that basically does a division problem and then gives you out the remainder. So if you can imagine doing long division and then you have so many left over, that's your remainder, that's what the percent sign will get you. So just looking at them one at a time, addition acts kind of like you'd expect it to act uh, like when you use your calculator. So if I were to see out um, a label 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals, and then here I just write the math without quotes around it, 1 plus 2 plus 3, it's going to add those numbers for me and it's going to give me the result 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 6, just like I would expect. So addition behaves exactly like it usually does. Okay. Um, notice that if you want to put a label in front of this, like here's the label 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 6, um, then I need to separate my string literal inside quotes from my mathematical expression with another insertion operator. Okay, Subtraction also acts just like you'd expect. So if I write um, 1.5 minus 3, guess what? I get negative 1.5. Not that mind-blowing at all. It does exactly what you think it would. Multiplication, the asterisk works exactly like you expect. So 5 times 2 times 3, print that out. I'm going to get 30, just like I think I should. Okay. Division is where things start to potentially get weird. So it's a forward slash operator. Um, so if I do math 10 divided by 2, I'd expect to get 5, and I do. If I do math 11 divided by 2, if I type that in my calculator, I get a decimal answer. If I do it in C++, I get 5, which is weird because it should be 5.5, right? So what happens in programming is when you have two obvious integers, so 11 and 2, definitely whole numbers, the computer says, oh, these are integers, you must want an integer as the result. And so what happens is the decimal part gets truncated, which means it gets just lopped off, there's no rounding at all, it just chops off the decimal, and I get the whole number part of the answer. Okay, um, So that happens if both these guys are integers. So one quick fix that I can do is just to type one of them in as a decimal. So if I wanted 5.5 as the answer, I could type 11.0 divided by 2, and then it would say, oh, you have a decimal there. You must want a decimal as the answer. Okay, um, And when we do that, it's called type promotion. So if I mix the types of values together, if I have a decimal and an integer, then it assumes that I want the more complicated thing, which would be a decimal, as the answer. Okay, um, And so we say the answer is promoted to the more complicated type, which is a decimal. Okay. So again, if I put 11.0 divided by 2, instead of getting the 5, the whole number, I get 5.5. Okay. Um, the weird way that integer division works sort of brings up how this modulus guy is incorporated. So if a regular division sign is just giving me the whole number part of a division problem if I'm working with integers, then if I want the leftovers, the remainders, I can use the percent sign for modulus. So that will give me the remainder of the problem. So for example, if I say 11 mod 2, well, I know 10 divided by 2 is 5, which was my whole number part of the answer, and I definitely have one left over, so it's a remainder of 1. So this gives me, as a result on the screen, the value 1. Okay. If, um, and this is still the remainder, but it's easy to remember um, and makes things quicker. If the first operand is smaller, so let's say you had 3 mod 999, then the answer is just the smaller number. So 3 mod 9999, this looks like it's a hard math problem, but not really because this left guy is smaller, and so the answer is just the smaller number. Okay. 
Um, just like you do in math when you're solving it on a piece of paper, order of operations apply. So the first thing you want to evaluate, or the first thing the computer evaluates, is the stuff in parentheses. Then, um, oh, and this is just a note. If you want to um, multiply two things in parentheses, you can't just put them next to each other like you would if you were writing out a math problem on a piece of paper. You actually have to put the multiplication sign in between. It has to be explicit. Okay, so it should look like this, 5 plus 2 in parentheses times 3 plus 2. It can't look like this, even though as a human who's reading it, I know what that means. The computer does not. Okay, um, so after parentheses, it does multiplication, division, and modulus as the first things then addition and subtraction, and then otherwise you just go from left to right.